Hey guys, welcome back. In this video, I'm going to show you how to start animating in Autodesk Maya. Uh, we have a simple scene I've created here. I've just created a, a plane. I just created a plane and, and then I, uh, let me go to the attribute editor and show you that I just created a Lambert material and painted it green. And then I created a sphere, this one, and I just created a blend material and colored it red. So what I'm going to do is I am going to go to the front view, right click and uh, choose face mode. And I'm going to select uh, four of these rows and I am going to create another uh, material, another blend material, and then just color it yellow. Just so we can add a stripe to this ball because we want to see the ball rolling. If it's solid, we won't see the, the actual uh, rotation. And so if I go back to my perspective view, I'm going to go back to object mode. As you can see, it's just a simple polygon plane and a simple sphere. I am going to turn off the grid uh, just because we don't need it. And here it is. Here's my scene. We're going to animate this ball uh, bouncing across the floor, but we're going to animate it in four passes or three passes. The first pass, we're going to do the location uh, from one from one uh, point to the next, just across the floor, it'll slide over. The second pass, it'll rotate, so it's rolling over to the other. And then the third pass, uh, I am going to ma make it bounce. I maybe say the fourth, it's not a really a pass, but uh, an adjustment. We're going to go to the graph editor and adjust the motion uh, in the Y axis. All right, so let's go ahead and get started, guys. The first thing I'd like to do is set my playhead at frame one, and it was uh, W for the move tool, and I am going to move this ball across to the left of, of the floor and set a key. I'm going to hit the S key, S, and you can see here in the channel box that all of its properties have been uh, keyed. So we've set a keyframe at frame one. You can see the little red tick mark on frame one. That means the frame one holds all this information in that frame. In order for us to have any type of animation, you need two keyframes. And so the next keyframe, I'm going to set it at frame 50. That means if it's at 24 frames per second, which is it is right here, 24 frames per second. It's going to take approximately two seconds to bounce across the floor. Two seconds uh, is 48 frames and we've gone to 50. So I moved my playhead over to frame 50. The next thing is to move the ball across the floor and then hit the S key. Uh, and you see that all the um, properties have this red mark that means that they have been keyed. Uh, I am going to go to frame 60. I'm going to end the timeline at frame 60 by hitting it here, 60, and then return. So that's the only thing I'm viewing is 60 frames. The whole timeline is 200 frames, but we're only viewing 60 frames, and it's right here from 1 to 60. So if I go all the way to the beginning of the timeline to frame 1, hit play, you can see that it moves across the floor, but it just slides. We just moved it across the floor. Even though all of its properties have been animated, keyed, we've only affected the X translation. So I'm going to stop it. Go back to frame one. Uh, we don't need to key it again. We need to go to frame um, 50 and we need to start rotating it. So the next pass is the rotation. I'm going to hit uh, E to rotate, E, and I am going to rotate on the Z axis. How do I know it's a Z? It's this blue handle, and I'm going to rotate it, ooh, I don't know, more than one spin, uh, about 500, let's say 546 degrees, that's about two spins in the Z, and you can see that turned pink instead of red. That means we moved the information and now we have to hit S to set a key again. Now if we go back to the beginning, uh, let me deselect it and then hit 
play, you'll see that it rotates and moves. Awesome. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to right about the midpoint, which is frame 25. Uh, I want to key it, but I don't want to move anything. See, there is no keyframe here. And so I'm going to hit S to create a keyframe at frame 25. And I didn't move anything. Uh, well, between those, between 1 and 25, I'm going to go to frame 12, hit W to move, and then push this up about 6.1 and key it. Hit S. And we can see that that's been keyed. I'll go in between 25 and 50, which is about 36. Move up to about 6 and hit S to key it. Now, if I go all the way back and I hit play, it will bounce up and down. Let me, let me go ahead and uh, rotate the, the scene so you can see it a little bit better. Now, you can see that it rotates, you can see it move up and down, but it's not a pretty bounce. It's more of a roller coaster because of ease in and ease out the way the graph editor works. So let's go uh, the motion path. Let's go edit the motion path in the graph editor. I'm going to stop it. And I am going to go to Windows, Animation Editors, and here's the graph editor. Now open up the graph editor. And I am going to um, put it here at the bottom. And I can see my scene. Let me uh, push it up a little. Right about there. Uh, and I want to work with Translate Y. There is my Translate Y. You can see the curve and it looks like a roller coaster. It doesn't look like a bounce. If I hit play, you can see how it goes up and down. Uh, I've done my job. I've, it's going up and down, but it doesn't look like a bounce. So let's go ahead and adjust this curve. So I'm going to select this keyframe here. And I'm going to break the tangent by clicking on this V. If you hover and hold this, it'll say break tangent. So I'm going to click on this and you see this handle became dotted. That means that I can grab this handle and move it anywhere I want, uh, independent of the other handle. I'm going to grab this handle and move it up so that it becomes a bounce. Okay, let's go ahead and uh, do the same for this one. I'm going to break those tangents, grab this end and push it up just so that we have a nice curve here. Uh, grab this one and if I don't break the tangent, you'll see that the other handle moves along and I don't want that. Um, I want to go ahead and break those tangents and move only this curve here. And so there, that's looking more like a bounce. Let's see what that looks like in our scene. Hit play, and there it is. It is, we animated this in three steps and then we added the uh, motion path. So the first step is we moved it across the floor and keyed the translation. The second step is that we rotated it uh, at the end and we animated the rotation. And in the third pass, we uh, animated the Y axis, the up and down. Uh, the fourth step was to adjust the graph editor and adjust that motion curve. And that's it, guys. Uh, that's it for now. Uh, in the next video, we will look at rendering the scene. Hey, guys, thanks for watching. If you liked the video, go ahead and hit the like button and subscribe, and I will see you on the next one. Thank you, guys.